I went back to reception. This time, it was just blind luck that the press agent, a Mr. Austin Cooten, was in the very next room. Cooten managed to arrange a 15-minute one-on-one interview with Plate, the perfect opportunity to ask him my questions. But in the meantime, there was other items on the agenda. As stated previously, Adam Savage, one half of the Mythbusters, was also one of the speakers at the venue. A Q&A session followed his speech in which fans could point out any mistakes that they may have noticed on the TV series and offer corrections. I, for one, certainly had some questions for Savage. Now, if anyone does have specific things you want to talk about that I've screwed up on the show, I, 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 I probably know more about it than anybody else. Yes. Does anyone have any questions? Ask this very attractive man here walking around with a microphone. Hey, over here. Okay. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Jarrah White. I'm from uh, JW Studios in Australia. I wish to uh, register a few um, complaints about the uh, Moonhook special. The whole program I can only describe was built on botched experiments. All the experiments in that, in that program were flawed. For example, you, uh, when you were doing the uh, wire jumping and the uh, slow motion stuff, you shot those separately when these conspiracy theories specifically that the footage was first filmed with the astronauts and wires and then that footage was slowed down, with, you know, was, was slowed down, you know, but you shot it separately, you shot the slow motion and the wires separately, okay, that's basically a misrepresentation of what the conspiracy theory is. In fact, if you take that footage of you jumping on the wire, slow it down to 67% and then play it alongside the original uh, Apollo 16 footage of, of John Young jumping, what do we get? We get a near perfect match. A near perfect synchronization. So the question I have thought. <laughs> exactly. So what's the question? So I guess I guess so my question is, what are your comments along these these flawed experiments that you guys performed on that show? Uh, well, you sound quite hostile, and I'd say, relax. But we're doing this in science. Um, <laughs> I'm biased by the fact that I know we're right in that episode, so you're just going to have to take that. Um, you're saying that you, you, potentially the tone of your voice implies that we ignored some portion of the conspiracy theory. Uh, the list of ways in which this uh, hoax is supposed to be perpetrated is so long, we have to pick and choose. Uh, we happen to have picked shooting those two things separately because they were listed separately, that they're also listed together. We made an arbitrary decision. Uh, I stand by the decision, but I also don't say that what we did is the definitive de facto place one should go for their scientific analysis of the moon landing. Um, we're, we're, an we're an entertainment show, and our goal is actually to demonstrate a critical methodology, not, uh, not the scientific fact that we conclude with. On your left. So we might be wrong, and I'm okay with that. If it turns out we are, we'll go back and revisit it. Well, could you please do that? <laughs> How revealing. When pressed regarding the inaccuracies in their Moonhoax experiments, Adam Savage defends himself by claiming his Mythbusters show is just entertainment, not science, and that he shouldn't be considered the definitive de facto proof for scientific analysis of the moon landing. That's strange, considering how many times in that show they gloated about how the moon landing hoax was busted. And I guess that means it's busted. Totally busted. Moon landing one, conspiracy theorist zero. So NASA two, conspiracy theorist zero. So I guess this conspiracy theory is busted. 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 The theory that it's faked, bust. Busted. Busting that net. So get over it. There's no conspiracy here. So unless someone finds a shot of the flag flapping without an astronaut manipulating the flagpole, it's myth busted. So we might be wrong, and I'm okay with that. If it turns out we are, we'll go back and revisit it. 
I could tell you stories of times that I have tried debating the moon landings with people I met socially. And then all of a sudden, someone speaks up and points to the Mythbusters special as the ultimate verification for Apollo. I sincerely wonder how these followers would react to know that that special was just entertainment, not science. And I have never heard of the wires and slow motion being listed separately. In fact, the jump salute footage that they tried to duplicate was prominently shown in David Percy's documentary. In that film, it was specified clearly that wires and slow motion were simultaneously at play. In this footage from Apollo 16, we have telltale evidence of a slightly floating or dangling effect at the jump salute location. It's as if the weight is being taken off the astronaut's feet just a second or so too soon. Compare that sequence with an obvious rehearsal rig. The dangling effect is very evident. Now this is how the jump salute would have looked at normal speed before being slowed down by the method just described. Looks rather like it would on Earth, does it not? I wish to uh, register a few um, complaints about the uh, Moon Hoax special. The whole program I can only describe was built on watched experiments. Now, did my tone come across as a little abrasive? Maybe I was just annoyed by the fact that, among other things, the Mythbusters misleadingly presented to the world their bungled attempt to simulate lunar gravity as proof that lunar gravity can't be faked on Earth. But whatever it was, my remarks certainly made an impact. No sooner was the Q&A session over, everyone attending the conference was talking about it, including the media. The Las Vegas Weekly wanted an interview with me, which I happily gave. I can honestly say that no one attending was expecting a conspiracy theorist to turn up at the amazing meeting. While the Las Vegas Weekly did represent my complaints against the Mythbusters somewhat accurately, they took liberties with my wording. The article reads, I'm interested in the moon landing conspiracy, White says. Mythbusters did a program where they disproved some of the theories advocated by moon landing hoaxes those of us who don't believe that we've actually landed on the moon. And during Adam's speech, I pointed out that he botched his expose. How so, I ask? The conspiracy theory is this. The astronauts were filmed on wires on a film set, and then the footage of them on wires was slowed down. The Mythbusters disproved the wires and slow motion separately. They never combined the two. Never in my interview did I ever use the word disproved to describe anything the Mythbusters did on that show. Luckily, I had my audio recorder rolling to make sure I was not taken out of context. Here's the wording I used. Well, I complained mostly about it on, on the show, I sorry, on the, um, uh, during the speech, I complained that he got the, um, the, um, the slow motion wire footage done incorrectly. Can you please speak a little slow? Just okay, so okay, my complaints... You're complaining that you got the slow motion. And the wire, when wire uh, conspiracy theory uh, botched. You're making me nervous looking over my shoulder here. Okay, I'll, I'll get, sure. I'll get, I'll get, okay, okay I'll get, well I'll get basically, okay, the conspiracy theory is basically this. Mm -hmm. right. The astronauts were filmed on wires on a moon set. And then that footage of them on wires was slowed down. Mm -hmm. Now the Mythbusters responded to that on their Moon Hoax special. Mm -hmm. But rather than getting the um, theory represented correctly, mm -hmm. they first they filmed the wires and the slow motion separately. Mm -hmm. Like they filmed him on, on wires, they filmed Savage on wires. And then they filmed him running around with no wire attached in slow motion. Okay. My argument, I'll just flat openly say it, my argument is that's a straw man representation of the conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. Because the theory is that he was, you know, supported by Wise, you know, they filmed him on Wise and they slowed him okay. down. Okay, now my argument is that they did it wrong and they passed this off as evidence. Okay, I understand.